I have two flashlights I want to share with you today from a company you likely have not heard of, Hoto. If you're interested in hearing about these flashlights, keep watching. So before I begin, I just want to thank the company Hoto for reaching out to me and offering to send these lights to me. So when they did contact me, I looked through their product line, really interesting products to say the least. I'll talk a little bit more about the company in a moment. And uh, I did look at their flashlights and it, it wasn't that I felt that they offered something really advanced technology wise. But what they offered is some really unique features and some very different looking packages. So the two lights that we're going to look at today are the Hoto Fit and the Hoto Light. So what I'll do is I'll take you down to the tabletop. We'll go over the features and specifications for each of these lights. And of course, we'll do a little bit of testing. All right, the first light we're going to look at is the Hoto Flashlight Fit. And just before we start looking at this light, I just want to speak to the company Hoto for a minute because that is a large part of the reason why I did accept their products to review. So the company Hoto, which stands for Home Tools, is primarily focused on making unique looking tools for use around the home. They, they have a real design uh, way of looking at things that are very modernistic, very sleek, very functional. I can't speak to the quality of the tools, but I will tell you they are unique. So I would encourage you to take check out the link and go to Home or Hoto Home Tools to take a look at their product lineup. Very different. I'd be interested in trying out a few more of them, but it was flashlights that were offered to me and really they extended that same styling to their flashlights. And as I said, this is part of the reason why I accepted them because I thought it would be different and different sometimes is good. All right, so this again is the flashlight fit, but before we look at it, let's just take a look at what else it came with. So this is the box that it came in. There is not a lot in the box, to be honest. There is the manual, obligatory manual and warranty information. There is a USB Type-C charging cable. Lanyard, I'll show you how that mounts in a moment and a light diffuser, which was different. You don't often see these included with flashlights. So this changes it not only uh, to a flashlight, but from a flashlight to a lamp that you can set on a table or hang in a tent or wherever else. Uh, I'll show you how that works in a moment as well. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the flashlight. We'll just have a look over it as I go through the specifications. So the overall length is five and 11 sixteenths of inches. 145 millimeters diameter, one and three sixteenths of an inch or 30 millimeters. Weight is 5.15 ounces or 146 grams. I will be putting all this information in the video description below. It comes equipped with a 15 100 milliamp hour lithium ion battery that is installed permanently. So it's not something you can change out. There's a, no way to access the battery itself. It has a, well, the modes of operation I'll demonstrate in a minute, but it has the infinity type ramping. So it runs from low at 20 lumens, which will last for 24 hours to high at 280 lumens, which will last for three hours. And on high, you get a beam cast of approximately 200 meters. It does also have an IP55 dustproof and water resistance rating. So not quite up to the standard we expect from a lot of other flashlights. Still very functional for most of the times you're using a flashlight, you don't need to be holding it underwater for two hours anyway. So yeah, so it does, I mentioned, have the smooth ramping running from low to too high, but it also has a flash and SOS. Everything is accessed from this point right here with the on off button. I like the tactile feel of it. It's, you know, easy to find. And I found that I put a couple flashlights recently that uh, just testing them out in the darkness. Why else would you be using a flashlight? Kind of rolling it over in my hand unable to find exactly where the button was because it was very flush. So I was pushing on different portions before I finally found it. I like that tactile feel of this button. It allows you to pick it up and right away, there's really only two places to push the button or the cap and I can feel the difference. So it's, I'm not likely to confuse them. All right, so let's turn the light on. And right now it is at its lowest setting of 20 lumens. If I press and hold the button, it'll ramp all the way up to its brightest. It will flash when it reaches, indicating it's at its highest lumen. If I turn it off and turn it back on, it will come back on in the last mode or last lumen setting. Double tap, I get the strobe, 
double tap again and I get the SOS. So very simple operation, which is one of the really uh, endearing things about this light, just a simple flashlight. And I'll say it again, different looking, right? Just very different looking. Okay, a couple things about the accessories. Number one, the US, or not the USB cable, the lanyard, the wrist lanyard, um, there are holes right here. Let's see if I can bring it up and show it. There's holes on either side so you can uh, mount the uh, lanyard through the light. Now, honestly, I don't usually use a lanyard on my flashlights, but I'll tell you there may be an application for doing so with this light. I'll explain that in a moment. So I won't put it on to demonstrate, but I think you'll understand. I do want to point out the USB charging port. I think this is important. It has a silicone cover, so it's quite tight and fits well. There's quite a deep re recess into the charging port. Now, the charging port is standard USB type C, but here's what I found when I went to charge this for the first time. I used one of my regular cables that are always plugged into the wall and uh, for charging any number of devices, wouldn't fit. And the reason it wouldn't fit is because the end of the cable, the plastic that surrounded the actual plug was a little bigger than it is on this one and it just wouldn't fit in that recess. So I resorted to using the one that came with it, which is just fine. Now it turns out I did have a number of other cables around the house that would fit it, but it just to point out, I point this out for the reason that if you grab the first cable you have at home that you use most often, it may or may not fit in this little recess, no big deal. Use the one that came with it and you'll be good to go. So uh, pointing that out now. Couple of other features. This is one of the things that makes it unique. So you can tail stand this light if you want because it does have that flat bottom on it, which is fine. But this is the way this is intended to be used. You can put the diffuser on, turn it on. I don't know how well it'll show up here, but now I've just got a lamp that I can use set on the table. It's actually a fairly good area lamp or I can set it on end like this. Again, just a good area lamp. So if, well, right now we're expecting the approach of a Hurricane Fiona and I've got everything charged up. So it's great to have these. These will be all over the house. So this will be, it's actually a nice feature as well. So let me turn that off. I'll point this out while I have it right here in my hands. If I turn the light on, you'll see that it has a green LED inside of the on off button, which is great. It tells me I have sufficient charge. And should the charge run down to the point the light needs to be recharged, it will show red. It'll also show red while it is charging until it is fully charged. And then again, it'll show green. Another feature about this light, I may or may not use it very often, is the fact that it will operate while it is charging. So if you have a separate power bank, battery bank, and you need to have your light on for an extended period of time, then uh, it's good to know that you can use it that way. I mentioned I had a unique application for the lit wrist lanyard, and that would be if I was to install this, and then I wanted to take this flashlight camping and yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't. It's not just an around the house flashlight. Then what I can do is use this inside of the tent and have the lanyard be how it's hanging or mounted from a guy line or any hooks inside of your tent or under your tarp. So yeah, just a different ways of looking at this light. I'll be honest, I like this light. Now it's a little bit bigger than other lights, certainly bigger than lights of uh, even more advanced lumen settings, but this is just a nice light for having, holding, carrying in my pocket, having around the house or taking camping. All right, let's move on to the Hoto flashlight light. And just before we take a closer look at the light, let's take a look at the box and what came with it. So this is the box the light came in inside. Manual warranty information. USB Type-C charging cable and a diffuser again for this light. And I'll show you how that operates in a moment. All right, let's take a look at the light. We'll go through its physical specifications and then we'll get on to its performance specifications. So it's just a little bit heavier, a little bit longer than the other one. Its length is six and a half inches or 164.5 millimeters diameter. The same though, one inch, three sixteenths or 30 millimeters, weight, tiny bit heavier, 5.64 ounces, 160 grams. It comes with a 2600 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, which is installed and is non accessible. So it's a there's considerably more power in this battery than there is in the other uh, flashlight. 
performance-wise, it has a low, medium, high dedicated settings. It also has a separate SOS and strobe, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. And uh, what's really unique about this light, and I, I don't have another light quite like it, is that it has a fo focusing uh, cast on it. So what I mean by that is when the, the front bezels, you can see slides back and forth, when it is fully back, it is all flood. And I mean all flood. It's It lights up this room quite amazingly. Um, but when you slide it forward, the lens right in the front of the light focuses all that light down to a very tiny spot. So in fact, when it is on a high of a thousand lumens, you'll get a beam cast of 200 meters. So kind of unique in that respect that you can really change from flood to uh, spotlight with this. Now, while I've got the basal extended, you'll see that is where the USB Type-C charging port is. So it's hidden for most of the time until you expose it there. The other feature, of course, which is unique on this light is that it has a built-in carabiner on the end of it, which is obviously makes it intended or very useful for camping or anywhere else that you want to hang the light up on it. Let, let me just show you what the diffuser looks like on this light. So once again, it can be used like this on the table or it can be hung up in your tent by the carabiner or under a tarp and gives you an area light as well as a flashlight. So I want to talk now about the modes of operation. It has some pros and it has some cons. It does have three set levels, as I mentioned a minute ago, but it does not have memory. So what happens is when you turn the light on and you have to cycle through low, medium, high and go back to low. So if I were to turn it off and turn it on again, again, I just have to start low, medium, high. So here is low, medium, high, off. Low, medium, high, off. Um, I'm, I, honestly, I'm not a fan of that. I would like that it had memory so that obviously in a tent, if I'd want to keep it on low, that it doesn't blind me by having to cycle it up through medium and high. Here's another unique feature on this light. It actually has two operating buttons. Here is the on off button. By the way, not quite as standout or, or tactile as it is on the other flashlight, but the second button is the SOS or the flash and SOS. So let me press that. You can see a strobe and press it again and it's SOS. Nice that it's separated from the main operating button, so it, I wouldn't have to go through low, medium, high, strobe, SOS, and back again, so I can at least separate those two functions. Uh, but as I mentioned, it is not the ideal for me that I have to cycle through each of the lumen settings, but honestly, I, th I kind of uh, find it myself able to overlook that by the rest of the design features on this light, the extended battery life on it, the fact that it has extreme flood and extreme focus, and the fact that it has the built-in carabiner. What can I say? A different design that all in all works very well. All right, so I haven't gone over the physical performance specifications for these two lights. There's only one thing left to do. Let's do some testing. All right, I'm doing some nighttime testing of the Hoto Fit and the Hoto Light. And I'm doing both at the same time. I'll obviously I'll identify which one is which. So I'm going to start with the Hoto Light. So the Hoto Light has the three stepped uh, versions, as you'll see. Now, it's entirely a flood, completely a flood. And this is its lowest level. Let me take it up. So now, as you can see, all flood, all flood, and that is the medium level, and I'm casting out to a pathway about 30, maybe 40 feet away from me. So not too far a distance, but reasonable for this, and take it up to the next level. Lots and lots of floodlights, and that's what this light is all about, is floodlight. But this is the one that has the extendable collar that allows for focus. So how's that for an intense focus on the light? And then you just slide it back to go back to full floodlight. So that's its performance. Of course, this light is more about being able to hang it inside of a tent or use it on a lamp or a table with that diffuser light. All right, that one's done. Now let's bring in the other light, the Hoto Fit. And what I'll do is I'll start by bringing it in at its lowest intensity. All right, so here it is at its lowest intensity. 
Now, it's not showing up as well on the camera, I think, as I can see with my eyes, but it is casting. I can see across the same distance. Not all that bright. Now, this is the infinity mode. Let's run it up through. And you can see when it flashes, it has reached the top of its beam cast. There we go. Now, that is quite a bit of spotlight in the center, which merges nicely into floodlight on either side. So great camp light. This is just a nice handheld flashlight. And again, it can be used with the diffuser as well. I like that infinity mode because it has memory. Turn it off, turn it back on, and it works perfectly. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few closing thoughts for the Hoto Flashlight Fit and the Hoto Flashlight Light. Um, they both have pros and cons. They both have things I like about them and don't like so much. Most of the fit is spot on. You know, I, I can't, don't think there is much I would change about this light. I think maybe the only thing is maybe a little longer in the run times. It would be nice if this had the same battery that the light does but uh, you know it's still okay I'm unlikely to run out of battery before I take to recharge this you know again I'll say this it's just unique looking and maybe that's one of the things when you do end up testing a lot of flashlights they tend to all look the same over time uh, you know once in a while you get a bit of a surprise and something that's really different looking and different is sometimes good sometimes it makes it awkward this is different looking and anything but awkward just very nice clean lines to it so there is a lot to like to this light maybe the only thing that i would like to see is again is just a little bit more battery life to it okay so the the uh, Hoto flashlight light. Again, there's a lot to like about it. I wasn't sure what I thought of this extending or telescoping uh, lens on the end of it. It's something I got used to because honestly, the flood on this, as you saw, is a massive. There's no hot spots. It's just all light. So I wouldn't call this a walk through the woods flashlight. Maybe it could be, but it's certainly an area light for at home or in your tent, under your tarp or anywhere camping. And really, I think that's what the design feature of this light was, especially since they included the carabiner on the end of it. As you saw, these things provide nice ambient light or but still functional enough to see what you're doing when they have the diffusers on the end of it and i guess if uh, you know you were using this in your in your tent and you needed to get up and go outside for whatever reason that you bring focus to it and you can see where you're going a little bit better uh, the only real con that i see to this light is the fact that i have to run through low medium high to turn the light off and it doesn't have memory. So I, I do find that a little frustrating and, and maybe the company hotel will pick up on this and change it because I think you'll, you would end up liking this light a lot more. Great run times for each of the settings though. When you think about it, that 2600 milliamp hour battery does provide good run times. And you know, this is something unique about both of these flashlights is that there's no step down. So this is a thousand lumens until it runs out. So, uh, you know, it doesn't overheat, it doesn't step down and run at a lower, a free, a lower lumen setting. Again, something a little bit different, right? Okay, so these are two flashlights from the company Hoto, but after after these arrived, they did send me yet another flashlight, a completely different from the two of these, but I'm going to be reviewing that one separately. Okay, if you have any questions or any comments, please put them in the comments section below. Of course, I'll put all the information that I gave you in the video description below, as well as to links to where you can take another look at these lights. All right, until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.